Gzip bundles and compresses your text-based resources into smaller, more compact files that ship to your visitors quicker, resulting in your pages loading faster. In this performance optimization guide, you'll learn what Gzip is, why you should use Gzip, how to see if Gzip is active on your site, how to activate Gzip, and how to test if your site's files are Gzip compressed. So what is Gzip and why should you use it? Gzip is both a file format and a software. When we're talking about activating Gzip, we're talking about the software. The Gzip software compresses and converts your JavaScript, CSS, and HTML files to smaller Gzip files. Your visitor's browser then uses the Gzip software to decompress the file and read them as if they were the originals. Because Gzip is supported on all modern browsers, and according to Google, compresses text-based files by up to 70% and even higher for large files, Gzip is recommended for improving performance on all websites. Activate Gzip to resolve Google PageSpeed Insights enable text compression recommendation. On WPMU Dev hosted sites, Gzip is on by default and the Gzip tool in Hummingbird is a built-in Gzip status verification tool for WordPress. In the Hummingbird performance menu, choose Gzip and the status of your JavaScript, CSS, and HTML files are displayed right in your dashboard. Gzip is active by default with many hosting providers. If it's not active, you can use Hummingbird to automatically add it to servers running Apache or use the included Hummingbird instructions for manually adding Gzip to Nginx or IIS servers. If you run into any issues with setup, you should contact your hosting provider for support adding Gzip to the appropriate file. After adding Gzip, use the recheck button in Hummingbird to verify Gzip is active. If you're not using Hummingbird or want to verify the Hummingbird Gzip status, from an incognito window, right-click on the page you want to check and choose Inspect. Select Network and reload the page. Choose the URL and in the Headers tab under Responsive Headers, check Content Encoding is set to Gzip. 